Okay, today I'm going to show you how to put a universal print driver directly from the HP website onto your Windows machine. Um, first of all, what you want to do is go to hp.com.au, click on support and download software and drivers. Put in your model number of your machine uh, and this page will come up. From here you need to choose your version of Windows, so you'll use the drop down, choose your version of Windows and you'll be displayed with the following information. From here, we are actually doing the universal print driver, so open that. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to do the PostScript driver, so you'll go into there and press download, or you can just download direct from here. It has instructions in here too. Download that driver. It'll download down the bottom here, which I have already um, already downloaded it um, to the computer. Now we've ran the file and it opens up to the self extractor. What you want to do is extract these files either onto your C drive or onto a network drive where you can um, access them from every computer in your office. Untick the when opening, unzipping, open, uninstall.exe. Untick that because we don't want to actually run the program and choose unzip. So the files have now been expanded. What you want to do now is go into your add printers, start devices and printers, we're going to add a printer and we're going to add a network printer. Today we're doing the 3530 so when it pops up on the list make sure you don't choose the one with the extra numbers on it, you just want a plain IP address like this. Uh, we are doing the 3530, click on that. Next, from here the printer has already got a driver on here so Let's just uh, use the current driver for now. Yours will probably come up with saying that it doesn't have the driver, um, which if you're installing for the first time, it won't actually have the driver. If you have got the driver, just continue through this. Do not share the printer and finish. Um, you will have a new driver down the bottom here. Now what we want to do is actually change this to the universal print driver by doing printer properties. Advanced. It's currently using this driver. We want to choose new and we want to switch it to the files by pushing hashes. Choose the files that we expanded before, which is in C drive, universal print driver, PS, the postscript one, and choose the top file here. OK. Two options here. It doesn't matter which one you choose, so let's just use the universal printing driver for now. Next and finish. It will take a couple of minutes generally to do this part, so don't be alarmed if your computer is going around in circles and seems like it's frozen. Give it a few minutes, it will get through this section. Now you can see we have the universal print driver as the driver, and the postscript one, sorry, the PS. Go into apply here, and what you'll find is it will actually change the name of your printer. So you want to keep an eye on this and actually go back in and rename it back to your printer again, because being called universal print driver is actually quite hard to track. So I'll show you this in a second once it's applied it. Okay, that took a little bit of time, but it did update and you notice it changed the name of my printer to universal print driver. We want to change it back to what it actually is so we can track it on our computer. So mine's a 3530 and choose okay. printer cannot be saved. Great, right, while well, I'm doing a video. Um, it's already got a name that says 3530. So what we want to do, go back down to it, printer properties, and actually rename it something. So HPCM 3530 printer. So now if I push OK, we've actually changed, changed the name of it, so now we can track it. Uh, and that's how you install the PostScript Universal Print Driver.